So good morning. Good morning. I can't hear you. Good morning. Yeah, now I can hear you. So I first want to welcome the two classes of first graders from Monarch Academy. Thank, thank you to and your staff, including Ms. Ogle and Ms. Brooke, and all of you students. So let's give all of you students a big hand. Wow, we have quite a turnout here today. I, now I would like to acknowledge the elected officials who are here today, including County Executive Steve Hsu, yeah. and County Councilman Chris Trumbauer, yeah. Mayor Gavin Buckley. I do think we have a seat for Mayor Buckley here, I think. Um, Alderwoman Rhonda Pendell Charles. Is Alderman Payone here? Was he able to get here? Okay. I, Senator Astle is here. Where is Senator Astle? Welcome. Welcome. And Senator Riley is here. Welcome. Thank you all for coming. Today marks an important step toward opening the first new library in nearly 15 years in Anne Arundel County. While we broke ground on the new building last week, we won't be able to cut the ribbon on that building for another 18 to 24 months. In the meantime, the Annapolis Library at Monarch Academy is open for business and we're ready to serve our county's residents. We're ready to offer education through our weekly early literacy programs. We're ready to offer a collection of books, movies, and music for all ages. We're ready to offer computers with to help with job searches and skills training. But most importantly, we're ready to serve the needs of every facet of our community. At this time, I would like to ask Superintendent George Arlotto to share a few remarks. Dr. Arlotto. Good morning. This really is the who's who of Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. So I am delighted to have this standing room only crowd because this is very exciting. Literacy and reading are critical. They are the foundation of learning for all of us as you're in first grade and up through the ages. And so we can't have, we could not have a better partner than our library. So through our sale program, for those of you that are unaware, because of our partnership with the, with, um, the library board and the libraries, each and every one of our 83,000 students automatically gets a card, automatically gets a library card they can use throughout the county. And we were able to work that through our data folks and our technology folks. Took us a little while, right Skip, to make that work, um, but it really has worked well, so we're delighted. And now our thousand books, your thousand books before kindergarten program, that's kicking off now and we think it's very, very exciting. So this is great, this is adding some continuity whereas the Annapolis branch that is shutting down because of, of new construction, which is very exciting, that we can continue, that the libraries can continue to be open for you. And the fact that we're able, with, through Mr. Shaw and others, to have this shared space for the library and the school, we're hoping you're really gonna take advantage of it. And I was able to talk to your principal early this morning, and she's very excited about you taking advantage of it also. So we're delighted you're here. We're delighted for the partnership. We're delighted for the continuity um, that our students will have and our community will have in the library. So I thank Skip and the staff and the board. Um, you all are wonderful. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Dr. Arlotto. I would next like to ask Councilman Chris Trumbauer to say a few words. Chris has been a strong supporter of the Annapolis Library during his eight years in office and prior to that. Chris. Thank you, Skip. Uh, thanks for having me be a part of this. Um, you guys are doing a great job of listening. Uh, can, you, can you teach my kids how to do that? Yes. Yeah? Yes. All right. What, what grade are you guys? Your first grade? Yes. You guys reading books? Yes. Yeah. What are you reading? I'm reading Captain Underpants. Oh, okay. That's, uh, I was like, it's either, it's either going to be War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy or it's going to be Captain Underpants. So I figured that's good. That's good. Well, look. Um, so we, we had a very exciting day uh, last week where we, we did a groundbreaking. We stuck a shovel in the ground for the new Annapolis Library. And it took us a long time to get to that point. And I remember thinking when we decided we were going to tear that one down and put it, build a new one, 
What are we going to do for everyone that depends on that library? And so what happened was um, we had to work together with the school system, with the county, and with the Children's Guild here at Monarch Academy to find a way where we could have this temporary facility. And it's really a great story, right? Because you ever watch the news and you see how, especially these days, government isn't really getting along down in Washington, D.C. Well, this is an example where your local government found a way to make it work. And we did that through partnerships. And now we all have here what we're celebrating today, a really cool library in your guys' school and in our greater community. So I live just outside of Annapolis. I'm really looking forward to having this be here. Um, I think it's a great step. It's a great partnership. So I'd like to thank the county executive, thank Skip, um, thank Mr. Shaw from the Children's Guild and the Board of Ed and everybody who helped make this happy. And who's going to be the first one to check a book out of here? Yeah, oh, well, all right, we'll see, because I'm pretty quick too. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Lastly, I would like to ask County Executive Steve Shu to come forward to say a few words. The County Executive and his team have been committed to making sure that this temporary library became a reality. We look forward to having him cut the ribbon on the new Annapolis Library in late 2019 or early 2020. Mr. Shu. Welcome. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here today. This is a wonderful occasion. How are you kids doing? Good. I'm so glad to hear that you like reading. It's wonderful to hear. And uh, I want to congratulate and thank Skip All for his leadership of our library system. And uh, also to acknowledge the uh, exceptional work of the library board and the foundation board in supporting skip and advancing the mission of the library system we have probably 35 or 40 different boards and commissions of uh, uh, affiliated entities throughout the county and uh, i think your boards set a very high standard and and we all look up to what you do and appreciate what you do as we all know one thing leads to another a chapter is coming to an end for the old west street location for the Annapolis Library and a new chapter begins here at Monarch Academy, the temporary location for the new Annapolis Library. I can think of no better location than here at Monarch with a built-in population of students who thirst for reading and it's contagious. I can almost feel it. And this new library is literally linked with an institution dedicated to creative learning and will help encourage hundreds of young people to appreciate reading. Now, boys and girls, I know that I'm kind of old, but one thing I know is that reading is very, very important. And the earlier you learn to love to read, the more successful you will be in your life. So I want you guys to promise that you'll read every chance you get. You promise? Yes. Did everybody say promise? Promise. All right, excellent. All right, thank you again for having me today and uh, look forward to the successful construction and opening of the new Annapolis Library. Thank you.